So I failed the AZ-104 when I took it in December, and instead of taking it right away, I procrastinated because I was so distraught about it. And as I said before, I work with some smart people, and one of my coworkers said that even if he fails his certification exam, he retakes it right away. So if I fail on Friday, I'm just gonna schedule it for the following week until I pass that damn test. That test is very hard. I heard it's even harder than the 305, which comes after it. Um, believe that one's for the, the architect level because it just encompasses a lot of information. So that's what I'm doing. And one of the tools that I'm using, uh, my one of my other coworkers told me to check Notebook LLM again because I checked it when it first was released, but then I never looked at it again. And I must say that it is amazing. So I wanted to share that with you. I have created a bunch of notebooks to go with the AZ-104, so I'll put the links below for anyone who's studying for it. But now let's jump to my computer so I can show you guys what I've created. Okay, so this is Notebook LM. I said Notebook LLM before, it's Notebook LM. But this is Notebook LM. Um, I got the plus because it's helping me like tremendously, so I definitely wanna keep using it for other things that I'm studying for or trying to understand. Um, so as you see here, I looked at the AZ-104 study guide and I try to structure it that way. I think the only one that's broken out separately are the compute because there's, you know, containers, app service and virtual machines. And I want to delve more into app service and containers um, just for my personal reasons. So that's the reason I broke it out. So I'll just go into one of them. So. As you see here, you add the sources. So if you click add, you can get it from a Google Doc, Google Slide. You can copy the, the text in, but I mainly use the websites and the YouTube. So I clicked all, I added all the websites from MS Learn and also um, John Seville's YouTube. Definitely check his YouTube videos out. I don't know what I would do without them. I'm also, I also have tutorials Dojo and Measure Up. Yes, I got both of them because I'm serious on passing this exam. And so every time you answer a question, they have the sources that they used for that question. I've been basically copying and pasting the, those into the sources area for each area. One of the things about Microsoft exams, I believe all of them are like that now, but I know for the AZ-104, you can use MS Learn during the exam. I don't want to rely on MS Learn during the exam, but I want to be able to be to use it properly if I get stuck. It is good for that as well to see like what the sources are for each question. And then um, as well as learn how to search MS Learn. So those are all the sources you see here. And then the good thing, so then you can do a mind map. I haven't really used the mind map, but you can generate a mind map. As you see on the right, it's generating. Um, while that's going on, you can do an audio overview and then you can add notes. So you can ask it questions, kind of like if you ever have used um, ChatGPT, ask it a question, it'll actually answer it for you. And then on top of that, you can go ahead and pin it. So these are the ones that I've pinned here so far. Uh, let's look at what the mind map looks at, like. So here you see that it creates a mind map and then it goes and for each area, it basically creates what they think is the grouping, which I think is pretty cool. And then you can click within it as well. And then you can create a study guide, um, frequently asked questions, timeline. But the one I really wanted to touch on, which is the one I've been mainly using, is here. Like you can go and it basically creates like a podcast with two people and it will go through your sources and create like a podcast. The cool thing about it is if you click here at this beta, this interactive mode right here, you can go into interactive mode, click play, and then you can join. And let me make sure I have my mute off, but let me do it again. Um, you can join. Hey, yeah, what's up? Can you tell me more about guest users? Absolutely. So just wanted to give you a quick, and then you, you see how cool that is? And it takes it from the sources. 
So it's a good learning tool because you basically, if you, especially if you're um, someone who likes someone to explain things to you, like I, for me, like I'm more of a kinesthetic learner, but instead of like, sometimes it's better for me to hear what other people like their thoughts and stuff like that, especially in a conversational type way. So that's the reason I love this. The, the one thing I will warn you about is that they can get rude. <laughs> I know it's, I know it's, I, I'm just joking around, but like, like if you interrupt them, they'll be like, as I was saying, as I previously said, and you're just like, gosh, can you calm down the dude? But other than that, it's amazing. Like this is the best tool and then you can actually like rate it. So just provide feedback. But I just wanted to show you guys this because this is really helping me with my learning. And even when I'm doing like the tutorials dojo or measure up and I get stuck and I even after reading the Microsoft Learn document and then at le reading the d explanation that they have, I don't understand. I can pop in here, ask here in the studio and it will actually answer it for me. The other thing I have noticed as well is that it isn't just specific to that one notebook. I can actually go in here, ask it something for storage, and it will answer it as well. So it seems like it, it compiles even from the other notebooks. So definitely very useful tool to have. But if you are studying, it doesn't have to be for the AZ-104, but if you're studying for anything, Notebook LM is a great tool to have. Just wanted to share that with you and I will have the links below so we can all pass this exam. But I'll talk to you later and have a good day.